You also called out Andy Ruiz Jr. What were your thoughts on his two fights against Anthony Joshua? Um, I think that in the first situation, he got lucky. Um, and when I say lucky, you know, I, I, I don't say he closed his eyes and just threw punches in the line or something. He just, he just happened to land the big shot before Joshua did and, uh, you know, became victorious. Um, I don't think he put in the work that he needed to do coming to the second fight. Uh, he definitely didn't look the part. Um, I know he stood on his feet for 12, for 12 rounds, but Joshua was playing it safe and was able to, you know, overcome Andrew Ruiz and, and get his belts back and, and win a victory in the, in the second fight. Um, I, I think uh, Andy understands, you know, he kind of dropped the ball in that fight now, and he's, and he's working towards um, his next title shot. Uh, I, I think, uh, you know, I, I should be one of the individuals he has to go up against before he gets back in there and fights uh, for the title. Do you think about how a fight between you and Andy would play out? Uh, I think it'd be a, a, you know, a fan favorite type of fight. You know, he likes to throw a lot of bad intentions. So do I. I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm, not, I'm not a scared fighter. I'm one of those guys that goes in there with guns blazing, and, and I'm looking for the knockout in every punch. So I think it would be uh, something that the fans would uh, love a, a fight between an individual like myself, Manny Ruiz, more than they would, you know, a, a part three uh, Wilder Fury type of situation for sure. Whoa, that was Dominic Brazil talking about a potential fight between him and Andy Ruiz Jr. James Bell with Boxing Source here with another video. And this video here is to talk about those comments by Dominic Brazil. As he basically called out Andy Ruiz Jr., the former unified heavyweight champion of the world. He brings up that two-fight um, battle between Andy Ruiz Jr. and Anthony Joshua. And he says that the first fight... Uh, was basically an instance where Andy Ruiz uh, got lucky um, and caught Anthony Joshua with, I guess, what, a punch from the gods or something like that, uh, which Anthony Joshua explained uh, after that loss on June 1st at MSG. Uh, then in the second fight, you've seen that Andy Ruiz Jr. wasn't completely prepared. He was, you know, caught in the moment of being a unified champion. Uh, being uh, regarded as the number one guy in the heavyweight division by many um, and didn't really have a good performance at all in the second fight on December 7th over in Saudi Arabia. Uh, but Dominic Brazil uh, talks about a potential fight between him and Andy Ruiz Jr. being an action-packed fight, uh, which, you know, probably would be the case is, you know, both of those guys ain't, you know, afraid to scrap it out. Um, we know that Andy Ruiz Jr. is very fluent with his hands and that, you know, Dominic Brazil is one that will stand and trade with just about anybody. He's had a couple of fights of that particular magnitude in his professional career. Um, and so a uh, fight between Andy Ruiz Jr. and Dominic Brazil would be, I would say, an action-packed fight in something that, you know, would be a good fight to see, um, even though some fans might not initially be interested in it, but it has the potential of being a heavyweight fight full of action, like the fight that we had with Adam Kalnaki against Chris Ariola last year, where you had basically a record of punches thrown in that particular fight. So here, um, not certain that you would have a record as far as like punches thrown in that particular bout, but I'm sure that you will have an action packed fight. That's what I got in reference to this particular topic of Dominic Brazil potentially fighting Andy Ruiz Jr. You can subscribe to the Boxing Source here on YouTube or catch the Boxing Source radio show live 7 30 p.m. Eastern Time Sundays on Vlog Talk Radio, or catch the podcast on iTunes, Google Podcasts, Anchor.fm, Spotify, or whatever your favorite podcast app is. On that note, folks, I'm out. Peace.